Saturday Night Bingo. And I have a mascot. Penelope's my mascot, of course. Penelope would not have it any other way. So, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready, ready, ready. Takes some time between her prompts because she's explaining the game to everybody. It's new to everybody, and that's to be... Uh, that's to be expected, and I did something really simple. The first prompt was junk mail, glue junk mail down on your page, and I just, I just, uh, junk mail. I just glued a return envelope down on my page because I'm going to make this simple because I'm just learning. Hey, look what I did here. Look what I did. I painted my facade the front of my Marriottier, which is going to go on my June journal. Now, this is just draft, but I'm really happy with this. And look, I put a gate here. And you know what? I should put some kitty cats on my gate. Let's see. I'm going to do some kitty cat on my gate here. This has to have a kitty cat. It has to have a kitty cat. So. So, because the kitty cat is little. Is little. <laughs> Yeah, we got to have little kitty cats on my gate, of course. There. And you know what? I need some lead pencils here. So I... I'm going to refill this with yellow. I should have cleaned it out, but I didn't. But I need some yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and refill this. I am refilling my little, my little fine liner here. N43. Let's go see. Let's see. N43. Do I have N43? N. Oh, I have it. Look, I have N43. N43. I have it. I have it. So we're going to go up here. And that's red, but we need my pen now. We need my pen. Almost N43. Oh, I got it. I got N43 on my second one. Yay, N43. And N43, N43, and it's Happy Mail. I got some Happy Mail today, too, from Beth. I received happy mail from Beth. It said from Beth. <laughs> My phone doesn't understand me. B E. Okay. So where did I put it? Where did I put it? Beth. I received some happy mail from Beth. Shall we shall we put something shall we put some of this? She sent me some some uh, 
stamped deli paper. Wasn't that nice of her to do that? I think you're lovely. Train of thought. Swack. The zebra. And... I like this little girl. I'm going to use her. Mm, I almost want her peeking through. Let's cut her out. I got a, what was it? N43. I got one. I got one. I think they got an N43 too. I think you have to generate your own card for them to be all different, but I'm just playing for fun. If I get bingo, well, maybe not. Maybe I changed the wrong. She said you have to change three numbers around. So I did that. <laughs> oh, Beth. She said, I had no idea there were so many ways to play bingo. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'll do I like her peeking out or do I want her on top? If I put her peeking out, I miss all of the tests. I'm going to put her right in here, but I have to get my I have to get my glue out. We'll probably be doing a lot of collage. 72 72 prompts, 75 prompts, that's a lot of prompts for one page. So I'm not going to do, when we do prompts, I'm not going to color my whole page with one prompt. And I don't know what napkin is what here. So I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah. I'm not different. I'm the same as you. I'm the same as you, Beth. I had to change some numbers around, but if I get a bingo, I'll say bingo, but uh, let's put it right here. Janet's a referee. <laughs> I don't know what they're figuring out there. Uh, there we go. All right, we'll just call that done. to be careful with that window when I heat it. I'm, I melted it, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. I like it distressed. <laughs> Whew. Ready, ready, ready. I used one piece of Beth's Happy Mail. There we go.
Now, I was going to go put some lead pencil. While they're doing all of that, she's talking. I need some lead pencils. Ooh, B8, B8, B8. Oh, I have that one too. Oh, we both have that, I'll bet you. But see, I changed that number, so I got B8. Add pink and yellow. You know, I have to dry that before I turn my page or I'm going to get in trouble. Add pink and yellow. Where's my heat gun? Add pink and yellow. Where's my heat gun? <laughs> here it is. Never fear. It's here. I'm doing a lead pencil there and there on my gate. yellow b8 was add pink and yellow b8 b8 add pink and yellow i guess i guess i'm playing that game there Add pink and yellow. Well, this is the yellow. That will be good enough. Add pink and yellow. This thing gets in my way. Pink. There's the yellow. If we do 75 prompts on this, oh my goodness. We'll see how this goes. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Let's just smear it down in there. So there's my yellow. Yeah, it'll take time to, it'll take time to figure it out, but I think I'm sailing. I need to figure out how to do my own bingo card. Because if you do your own bingo card rather than just generating theirs, chances are you will not, chances are you will not, uh, um, if you do your own bingo card, chances are you will not have the same thing as anybody else. And here's some, here's some red, red. Come on, Red. I don't want a whole bunch there. That's good. And then I'm going to mix that with some white to get pink. That's right. Do our art first. Ew, and there's something gooey in there. Ew. Pink and yellow. There. I kind of like that. Pink and yellow. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and smear it out in here. The chomp prompt. Chomp prompt game. All right. So 
I got my pink and yellow. Let's go ahead and dry it while she's. Pink and yellow. Oh, I can't dry that. You know, I'm going to dry it. I'm going to dry it and let it all gather up. I'm just going to heat it out there and we'll clip it, I think, there. I'm playing bingo. P L A plain bingo. B O T H. So I'm going to leave that wrinkly. It's got... Let's clip this off. It's... It wrinkled up over here too. I'm not sure why. It wrinkled up on me. You know, I should just tape that down and just have the. I'm not sure why that all wrinkled up. It wrink. It pulled off of the tape. There we go. There we go. I'm just cutting, I'm cutting some darts in it. That old window. doing fine Beth I told Beth she was doing fine so my window melted on me I-23 I do I have I-23 spray Spray, I got spray, I got spray and drip. I made sprays this morning. Let's see, though, it was I-23. Let's see if I have I-23. I-23. I Whoops. I-23. i got to move this in here. I think I moved my I-23. I don't have it, but we're going to go ahead and spray. Spray, spray. Let's use some of this spray that Mitzi sent me. I got yellow, red, and gold. Is that gold? I think that's gold. Now this has a a bead in it, so I know I have to shake it up. Uh, 
And I don't know how drippy that will get. Spray and drip. Come on, drip, drip, drip. It's dripping. I better put this underneath just in case. Spray and drip. That's all I'm going to do, because if we do 75 of these, it's going to be a while. And I, on these, I'm sure I'm being sure to wipe off my little nozzle. That was my spray and drip right there. Ooh. All right. Thank you, Mitzi, for the gold spray. You know, I'm just learning how, we're just learning how to do this bingo game. It's not going to drip. We let it just sit there. It dripped when I first did it. But this is still wet. This just kind of counts. It. It's spray dripping counts. I like that. N44. What did I do with my N44? Oh. If I don't have a I don't have a coloring book out. Shall I draw? Painty paper. Oh, I probably have all that. Let's see what is she using for her coloring book. Oh, she's using Mandela's, which she's going to use. I'm just going to add a... Since I went to look at teapots today, I'm going to say this little teapot... I'm going to say this little teapot came from a coloring book. This is Mary's... coloring book it's what I'm doing right here because we went to we went to look at the 400 teapots today and so this is from my this is from my uh, experience from today this is my teapot I'm a little teapot short and sweet all right what shall I put flowers I don't know how many prompts she's doing here. Are we playing bingo too? I'm not sure what she's doing here. Alrighty. Let's put another flower in here. I'm drawing a coloring book. <laughs> Teapot. And I should have a teacup. Let's do a little one. Mm. 
There we go. We'll just leave it. Well, it needs a band. There we go. I guess. There. Well, oh, now I need another one. <laughs> My teapot needs flowers. And I suppose I should color it. Let's do the blue. We'll do blue. Blue, a blue teapot. Yeah, I've got a loud voice. And then I'm going to put yellow flowers on there. And we'll make a blue handle. Like that. And we'll color this in blue. This is my teapot coloring book. <laughs> There we go. Oh, it's warm in here. Now, I'm planning just to let this go live. So this may turn out to be fairly long. I don't know. It may be long. Now my... There's going to be flowers in here. Tomorrow, what, what are we having? We had brats for supper tonight. We'll probably have hamburgers tomorrow. She's asking what we're going to have for Memorial Day. We'll probably have hamburgers, Beth. We had brats tonight. Oh, that's kind of a cute little teapot, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Let's put another flower up in here. One more. Memorial Day. All right. There we go. Now, let's dry that. This is my image from a coloring book. It's a teapot. I keep putting my heat gun back, and I don't know where I put it. I'm going to have to find a specific... She's drying hers. And I'm going to let it puff up, and then I'm going to smash it. There we go. Yeah, i got too much paint there.
They're talking about poke cakes now. There we go. Mm. Mm, that's the outline. Coloring books usually have big black lines that you color in between. I go outside the lines <laughs> and then draw them. Uh, I do my art and then put the black lines around it. That makes me a coloring book, right? I'm going to stop. Okay. They're talking about poke cake, making a cake, poking holes in it, and then filling it with pudding and jello and okay. I kind of like that. Let's just color that in. Let's color that in. I need black. This is my coloring page. Yeah, let's go for another one. All right. G60. G60. Any kind of tape. Any kind of tape. I'll probably... I'll probably use washi tape. Let's see if I have a G60. Do I have a G60? Oh. No G60 for me. All right. Well, tape. I got plenty of washi tape from you guys. Let's see. Let's see what I have. I have this label and it says dream big little one this is black what do i have that i want to use i have these but i'd like to put more blue in it oh i have those little birds that that i think arlene sent to me that's some blue what didn't I? Where's my little birds? There. Let's put these back in here. 
this is what I keep my washi tape in that I'm using right away. We're on prompt six. Tape is prompt six. And I'm going to use these little birdies. I think they're so cute. I think I'll put them down here. But to do that, I have to put some. I'm going to ask Beth how many prompts we're doing. How many prompts are we doing? See if she answers me. Eight. Okay. She's only doing eight prompts, so I might come back and spray in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got two more. If we only do eight, I think I'll add some more up here. Tell me it's true. Tell me it's true. There we go. I'm happy with that. I might go ahead and add some more to this after. You know, we're only doing eight. Ew. I may not do jelly printing. Oops. Jelly printing on Monday night. I don't think I'm going to do that because I've got such a mess in here. Jelly printing will just send my room into a tailspin. What do I want to do? What color do I want? I need greens and yellows. Let's try this yellow. Just, just did not come out very good. Did I do that this morning? Hmm. Ha, 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 ha. Let's see if I can grab some. Yeah. Let's see what this does. Yeah, I guess I'm liking it. That's that drip and spray prompt. Because I have to fill in my background. We're only doing eight prompts. Whew! Alcohol ink. Thanks. Are we ready for another prompt? I guess we're not playing bingo. She's calling them, but there's no way that... B-I-N-G here... <laughs> Let's try it. He hasn't called it yet.
Go ahead. One, two, so, oh, 062. Do I have 062? Now we can do a wild card. I already have gold. I dripped with gold. I dripped with gold spray. Already. There we go. All right. She's putting a word on hers. This is a wild card. It's a wild card for this wild card you know what i think this needs i think it needs some yeah what does this need it needs an image you know what it needs it needs something in here it needs a tag a tag what can i make a tag out of it needs a tag <laughs> Rub the edges. <laughs> Here, I have this. That is out of a flow book on writing stream of consciousness. I will write because I don't know what I think until I read what I say by Flannery O'Connor, 1925 to 1964. I kind of that. I'm going to put that in there as a wild card and let's go ahead and let's cut it wherever my scissors wild card wild card you know I think I'll cut it way down I think I'll cut it way down. I write because I don't know what I think until I read what I say. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I like that right there. Let's do it. I still need a tag. So if I have time, if I have time, I'm going to make a tag too. Because maybe I'll make a tag while... I'll make a tag while um, they're playing bingo. They're going to play a game of bingo. They're going to play a bingo, game of bingo. They're not playing bingo. I mean, they're calling the numbers, but she's not playing game bingo. There we go. I write because I don't know what I want to say until I read what I, what I think, until I read what I say. I like that. But you know what it needs? It needs some mark. What do I have on the back of this? That's pretty good. Now I'm liking it. It usually takes me until about the fifth or sixth prompt before I'm liking what actually happens on these. And I don't know if that got stuck down there. There. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to outline this, too. This is still wild card, so I can do what I want. I can do what I want. There we go. Do I want to do something around there? I think I do. 
I like that. I'm going to leave it just like that. Only I think I'm going to bring this line up to here. And bring this line in here. Just like that. Yeah, that works for me. So now I want to tag in here. I might have to do that as, as while they're playing bingo. I need a prompt, a, a card. Oh, look at these. Look at these will make a nice tag. This. Huh. Would that fit in? That would that would go nice in there. Let's cut this out. This is my pen pen plus gear. This is my pen plus gear packaging. It folds here. And I think I can glue that onto something, but will it fit? Oh, it will. Let's see what it is. We need to. They're going to play bingo without doing art, but I'm going to continue doing my art. Ooh, right there. That's where it should stop, but it doesn't. So maybe I'll. I don't want it to stop there. Maybe I'll glue that in there. So we got to take care of this, though. And we got to take care of this. It's bendy. Let's throw this away. She's going to read the last prompt. <laughs> I-28. And I'm not playing bingo, but let's see. I Oh, another wild card. I don't have I-28. I don't have I-28, but we got a wild card. You know, I'm going to get rid of my... I'm going to get rid of my red just by doing the backs here. I'm just about rid of them. Oops. Yeah, we got to get rid of 43, colored 43. There. Now I'm going to move this into my gallery. Save current sketch. There. So now I'm going to use that bingo card the next time we play. <laughs> what was I 28? I missed it because I was, I was, uh, uh, what was I 28? I missed it. What was the prompt? Oh, it was another wild card. It was another wild card. So those were the prompts. Now this is 525 and I'm going to 19 and this is Beth's bingo. Okay. So for my second wild card, I'm going to make this tag to fit in here. This is for prompt um uh, this is for prompt. I should really just get rid of this. Is it glued down? It's glued down. Let's get rid of some of this. They're, they're playing bingo. But I need to make a tag here. You know what? It should, it should go in like... Like so. But I don't want it to go all the way down, do I? Or I could put... I'd like to have it stop right there. I could just do this. 
I like this. I could put this on something. That's what I'm going to do. Let's cut this. I have to take her, take my earbuds out because I'm listening to her in my ear and I can't concentrate on what I'm doing. So this is the wild card for prompt eight. I'm going to make a tag and I really like this. This is off of the Pen Plus gear set that I got at Walmart. It has 60 markers in it. And I think I paid $17.49 for it without tax. I mean, there's tax in there. Um, but it works out to about 30 cents a marker. And I think that's very fair. Now, I like this a lot. So I need to have something for a tag. Yeah. I have a lot of trash to throw away here. What do I have I can use for a tag? i got to get out my scrap bag. I need to get out my scrap bag. And boy, you don't want to see behind my chair. Let's put my ink tents away. Oh, it's really warm in this house. In this room, it's really warm. I need something strong and sturdy. And I should have something right here available. Like a black paper. But do I have it? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. So I think what I'll do is I have to kind of measure right in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right there. And let's trim. Yeah, let's trim it. And you're going to see. Uh, my goodness. I'm trying to do everything here. Let's put my glue away. Let's put my glue away. We don't need this anymore. Glue pot put away. Let's put my spray water bottle. I was using that to do the water. Now let's see. I'm going to cut it right in here. And it doesn't matter if I cut it a little shorter. And then I want it to fit in here. Ooh, see it's it's too long yet. Just a little bit too long. Let's cut it a little shorter off here. Let's cut it a little shorter. Okay, so go this way, and that'll fit in there. Ooh, I like that. So, I want a tab on this. So, I'm going to start here. I'm just going to tear it to where I want to start. I could glue a tab on there, and I might end up doing that, but we'll see what I'm doing. We'll see what I'm doing. So I'm going to cut here. I'm going to skip some and cut there. Then I'm going to pull it a little. And then I'm just going to cut there. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to trim this way and that way. And then I have a little tab. And let's see how that fits. Oh, I like it. It's perfect. All right. So we can put this in my scraps that I had to go into the other room and get. And where's that pretty that I, this, I want to put this probably about an inch in. If I put it an inch in, right about there, I think, that will probably be enough. So we can get rid of this. Mm -hmm. And I want to glue this down. And I'll probably glue this down with uh, tacky glue because this is cardboard.
And of course, this is the kind of tacky glue that, yeah, it takes a bit for it to come out of the bottle. Now, this is the pick eight that I did with Beth Schuler, and she picked the prompts with a bingo call. That's what all the B-I-N-G-O's were that she was calling. But she did not call enough prompts to do, you know, a very, very good game. I mean, you'd have to have a perfect bingo card almost to get those. So we really weren't playing bingo. She was using bingo to call the prompts, which was okay. But they're, they're playing bingo now. But they are not, uh, they're not doing a prompt game. Now, I said I was going to put this about an inch in, and I already got glue on it. And I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm just going to eyeball it. Probably right about in here, maybe. That should be good. Oh, I like that. Very pretty, if I do not say so myself. And look, I can even put a... Can I do that? I might do that. Let's go ahead and get this glue down. Get the glue on my fingers. So this is kind of a scrap packaging here on this tag. But my wild card was to make a tag. I'm going to fit it in here. Just like, oh, look, I, I got it right. And let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, that's going to give me problems there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And this envelope is going to give me problems. The envelope is going to give me problems because I got it, I got it glued down in there. Let's see if I can pick it up. Can I pick up the other one? I just turned the flap inside and it, it's being ornery. There. Let's just tear it here. I don't care if it tears. I don't care if it tears like that. It's like somebody tore it. Now this, I care a little bit more about. Can I mend that on the inside? Let's just take a piece of this. And if this is double sided tape, but I'm not going to use it as double sided tape. I'm just going to put a piece in there to keep that together. I'd like to I'd like to have this mended right here. All right. Right there. And right there. Yeah. Now let's come back with my let's come back with my black marker. This is all wild card here. I'm just I'm wild carding it. My black marker. In here. Black marker in here. And we're even going to do the black marker down in here. We'll just let it. And why don't we. Why don't we come into here with it. I kind of like that. Black marker in there. Oops. Here comes a train. And it's got, since we added really thick up there, let's add thick up here too. Let's just black marker it. Ooh! And down here. I like it. I like it. Now, here, I'm going to add this. I'm going to add this on here. Right in there, I think. And then I'll go back and trim it off. 
So let's get my tacky glue out again. This is still the wild card. They're out playing some sort of a bingo game. I'm not playing. That fits. It just fits. And let's get the glue off of my fingers here. And let's trim it. There we go. And let's trim it this way. It doesn't have to say anything. It's just pattern. And where's my black marker again? That's my blue. We're going to color out this 60 markers on there. We're just going to darken it. For the fun of it. And then this will go in here. Yes, yes. Will it fit? Will it fit? What are you doing here? This is this needs to tear. I should cut it probably. Oh, yeah. I like it. This still has some of that window plastic on here. I can tear that off. Window plastic. A heat gun, didn't it? You cannot heat gun a window, plastic window on these envelopes. Sometimes I do it just for fun, but not today. I still got some in there. I don't know if I can get it out. Yeah, pretty good. All righty, so let's go ahead and document it. Let's just do a, uh, where shall I write this? I think I'll write it on the sides in here. A bingo pick eight. Pick eight with... Beth Schuler. I'll just put Beth S. Period. And then on 525 19. There we go. I'm done. I'm done. I'm I'm I liking it a lot. For eight prompts. Now I had to go back in. One of them was spray and drip. And that's what this gold drippy spray spot you see in here. But since I didn't know how many prompts she was doing. Because she was calling bingo numbers. She said she was doing eight. And I knew I'd have a lot of white space. There's nothing wrong with white space. But I wanted some color. So I sprayed um, some yellow in there. So I kind of used that prompt to spray. Now I've been keeping my prompts. We did eight of them. Yeah. So I've been putting them in the front of my journal over here. This is my this is my main journal, which really is filling up, which surprises me. Really surprises me. I've got some work to do in it yet. But you know, we've got a lot of pages in here. I still have a few more days to fill it up. If I don't get them all filled up, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I've got quite a few in here. Okay. All right. So, and then, let's just put that like that. And put this here. And move these over and look. Look at my Mary Atelier building. <laughs> I can't wait to paint my June cover. I'll be working on that next week. Because June is coming. Yes, it is. So this has been my Art Along with Beth on Monday. Or Excuse me, it's not Monday. Today is Saturday. Oh, my goodness. Saturday, May 25th. It's been really fun. 
I really enjoyed it. So thank you for watching and I will see you on the next page.